Hi, we're Teaching Lab 10. Come on right in. Thanks. So, what are you studying? I'm Neil, and I'm currently studying biotechnology within the Advanced Science Honors Degree here at UNSW. So, in the Bachelor of Science here, there are 27 different majors. How did you land on biotech? Yeah, that's a great question. So, I actually came into uni wanting to study um, chemistry within science as well, but I did a biology lab in my first year, and I absolutely loved it. So, I decided to switch into biotechnology. Um, and I think one of the great things about studying at UNSW is that you have so many different options for what you want to choose from. And specifically in science, there are so many different options such as maths, chemistry, physics, even marine biology. Um, and it's very easy to switch between those two and sort of find your passions there. This lab's incredible. What would someone be doing if they were studying in here? Yeah, so this, like I said before, this is one of our teaching labs. Um, and within these labs, there are so many different types of projects that you'll be working on if you're studying in biotechnology. Some of these can include testing different antifungal drugs drugs, um, creating biosensors that detect mercury and arsenic in the environment, um, just to name a few. And there's so many different options available for you at UNICEF. So in the real world, where would a biotechnologist actually work? What kind of job would they have? Yeah, I think the wonderful thing about biotechnology is that there are so many different options for biotechnologists to go into after they're done studying. Um, the one main thing that a lot of people think about is obviously doing, obviously doing lab work like we're doing right now. Um, but there are so many other different options, such as studying, such as working in legal firms, um, creating your own startups, working in anything medicine and health related, um, and creating all these sort of wonderful things that you can use out in the real world. So what have we interrupted you doing? What are you working on right now? Yeah, so what I'm working on right now um, is in the process of testing some different properties of antifungal drugs. Um, and so what we're doing right now is we have these serial dilutions prepared prepared um, and they've been incubating in our fridge for a little bit and what we're going to do is we're going to pipette them out into this micro titer plate here and once we're done with that we'll put them into a wonderful fancy machine um, and we'll be able to get some good results there. Okay so if you break that down a little bit for me what are we trying to learn or what's this experiment about? Yeah so what we have in these little vials here um, are a combination of uh, different fungi and bacteria um, so what we've been doing so far for my project is sort of testing different types of antifungal drugs and seeing what their effect is on different organisms. Um, and yeah, so what we're going to do with these is pop these all, all these solutions into the micro titer plate and then we'll test different properties um, and basically see how much light is passing through and that'll tell us a different range of things about our drugs. So this specific, specific fungi, how would someone contract that? Yeah, so this specific fungi is called um, Candida, Candida albicans. Um, and the amazing thing about Candida albicans is that it's actually present in a lot of humans already. Um, so the big challenge that we're facing here um, in combating this fungi is basically finding a drug that won't upset the normal balance um, that a lot of humans have already, but get rid of all the bad, um, bad fungi that may be causing health problems for those people. And is there not any current medication or drugs that do that? Yeah, there are some current drugs, um, but they're not that effective. This uh, current disease, um, systemic candidiasis, has a mortality rate of around 90% in some cases, um, which is very, very high. So it's very important that we're doing experiments such as these to find drugs and solutions to these problems that these people are having. So do big pharmaceutical companies employ biotech to work on problems like this? Yeah, 100%. Um, a lot of biotechnologists do go to work in these big companies um, to try and find solutions, drugs, medications for a large range, range of diseases all across the world. Um, and that's obviously a very, very important job. Um, things like creating vaccines um, is some of the work that we do as biotechnologists there, which I'm sure all of you guys have had. Um, so it's very, very important work that we're doing as biotechnologists. Okay, so next, what are you doing now? 
Yeah, so what we're doing now is we're coming over to this spectrophotometer and basically what this machine will do is shoot light through our solutions that we have here um, and basically be able to tell us different properties um, about how exactly our solutions are interacting in terms of the fungi and bacteria um, and what they're doing there. So we're just going to pop this in quickly here and we're going to put it in here and then this machine will read all that fun stuff um, and we'll get some wonderful re results there that we can analyze later. So this is obviously very hands-on and it's experiment based. How much of the course is practical versus theory? Yeah, so I'd say around 50% of the work you're doing with biotechnology will be practical. What that looks like on a week-to-week -week basis um, is around a two to four hour lab each week where you'll be doing your own projects, own experiments and getting to work with different things like fungi, bacteria and seeing how they interact with different drugs um, and biotechnologies there. The other half will be lectures um, and different classes that you'll have with all of your other classmates. And this learning that you'll be doing here will be complementing all the work that you're doing in your practical labs um, in biotechnology. Uh, well, it looks like you're heading somewhere. Where are you going? Yeah, we're going to head now to the biotechnology uh, study space where students can hang out um, and study there. So we'll head on there. Perfect. We'll just follow. What do you like about the course? Yeah, for me, I think the, the favorite part of studying biotechnology for me definitely has to be the practical and laboratory components um, because there's just so much amazing and fun work that you do testing all of these biotechnologies and bacteria in the real world and seeing what applications they actually have. So has there been any project that's been a standout or that you've loved the most? Yeah, for me, definitely one of my uh, favorite projects that I've worked on studying biotechnology is creating molecular biosensors that test for the presence of mercury or arsenic in drinking water um, and that's really important because there's so many different sources of water around the world that are contaminated by these two it's important that people are having fresh clean and safe drinking water it's amazing and so what are you planning on doing after you graduate yeah I'm honestly not entirely a hundred percent sure what I want to do but something that I'm really interested in going to is research for bioremediation and basically what that is is using different biotechnologies to do things like help clean up the environment, pollution, and a lot of things along those lines there. Um, but there are so many different options for me. I've also uh, looked into working in startups um, or even creating my own startup for different biotechnologies there as well. That's incredible. Um, so it looks like you, I've got your hands full. Thank you so much for the tour today. We'll show ourselves out. Of course. Thank you so much too. Bye.